everyone, welcome! Today I'm going to show you two super easy at-home science experiments that you can do with kids of any age. The first experiment is called balloon inflation. So for this experiment, all you're going to need is a plastic bottle like this, some baking soda, some vinegar, and a balloon. And our second experiment is a water pressure experiment. And for this, you're going to need a cup, some water, a plate or bowl, and matches or tiny birthday candles. So let's get started with the balloon inflation experiment. So we're going to start with the balloon and the baking soda. So for this, you hold your balloon in one hand, or you can have two people help you. And then I like to use a small funnel to put this into the balloon. If you don't have a funnel, you can roll up a piece of paper in a funnel-like manner and hold it outside the top of the balloon and put your baking soda in that way. So right now, I'm going to put three tablespoons of baking soda into my funnel, shake it, and put the balloon aside. Now I'm going to pour half a cup of white vinegar into my bottle. Now I'm going to attach the balloon to the bottle. And for this part, you have to be very careful not to let any of the baking soda fall into the bottle because then you'll begin your reaction. So make sure it's all on one side like so. You can have someone hold if you need the help and then let's put it on. You want to make sure it's on nice and tight, not like this. Pull it all the way down. Okay, so now we're going to watch the reaction happen. I'm going to hold on to the balloon and the bottle. So I've got them both. And then I'm going to lift the balloon and let the baking soda fall in. And hopefully our balloon will inflate. Let's see. Whoa, there it goes. So it'll fall in, shake it a little bit. Awesome. So now I'm going to take the balloon off and tie it. So why does this happen? This happens because when vinegar and baking soda mix, they create an acid-base reaction, which creates carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas which goes up into the balloon and causes it to expand. So that's how we have an inflated balloon. Something interesting is that carbon dioxide is heavy, heavier than the air that comes out of my lungs when I breathe. This has carbon dioxide too, but not as much as this. So when we drop them, you'll notice that this one falls just a little bit faster. If you want to try this yourself, make sure to mark your balloons so you know which is which. I've got a black X on the one inflated by the bottle and a green X on the one I blew up. So let's drop them and see. Watch very carefully. One, two, three. There you go. The one with the black X fell just a bit faster. I hope you enjoyed that great experiment. Now on to the next one. Now for our air pressure experiment. So for this, you're going to need a plate and you wanna have one that has a little bit of a rim because we are going to be pouring some water into it. You'll need matches. If you don't have matches, you can use small birthday candles, a lighter, a cup, and some water. I'm using a very small slice of apple because I'm going to stick my matches into this. You could use anything you have to keep the matches upright, but I find this works really well. So I'm going to put that in the middle of my plate and stick my two matches inside, side by side. Now I'm going to pour water just so it fills up to the rim here but you don't want to flood it and get the matches wet, so be very careful. The next step is to light the matches and carefully put the cup on top. For this part, you absolutely need to have parental supervision, so make sure you have that. Why did this happen? When I put the cup 
cup over the flame. The oxygen is burned inside the cup and it's replaced with carbon dioxide. This causes the pressure inside of the cup to change. It becomes less. So the water on the outside, where there's more pressure, is forced inside and the water level raises. And there's our scientific explanation. I hope you enjoyed those two easy at-home science experiments. Bye!